Um, my name is Pearl John. I'm an artist working with holography. I work in physics and astronomy at the University of Southampton and I'm currently doing a PhD in holography at the Montford University. Well, the um, work is actually forms part of a PhD project that I'm doing and I'm looking at doing three-dimensional family trees. So um, the, the objects and the holograms in them um, are related to the amount of time. So further back, the further back um, in the object relates to that further back in the generations that I'm going in the hologram. They're objects that hold memories. Uh, what interested me in terms of um, presenting uh, the idea that there is time held with it, both within the object and within the hologram. There is also a tension for me being an artist working with technology that a, a lot of the general public are still kind of s suspicious almost of considering artwork um, that, uh, that uses new media or new um, technologies. So um, perhaps it's a little bit def defensive almost having, um, having the idea of being almost an artist to, to some people. And holography almost seems to capture light, it seems to capture time, um, and there is something um, m magical and spiritual about working with it as a medium. Well, I was very excited by the um, opportunity to exhibit in here because it's such a special place. Um, it's a bit of myth-making, really. I'm producing um, an exhibit about my own um, history, so um, that's quite exciting. So in the, the centrepiece is the clock. It's almost like a self-portrait and an explanation of what the rest of the work is about. So the closest to the clock um, is the, the closest um, uh, relation. So my, my sister is on, on the left of the clock with the shoes. Nobody ever sees the same thing because of the way that holograms work. Actually, you're um, on each um, silver halide crystal in the hologram, you're getting a different image. So there are millions of images all over the holographic plate. And uh, your different two eyes see different images, which is why it looks three-dimensional. So you're constantly moving, you're constantly seeing two different images. So one person isn't going to be seeing the same thing as the other. They do have their own time for the, for the viewer to make sense of the image. Um, there, are, there are the ones that you can move backwards and forwards quickly and go, oh yeah, I get it, on to the next. <laughs> um, and there are, Yes, there, there, are, there are images which are actually more three-dimensional in, in nature. So the one behind me is, um, has a three-dimensional element as well as the, the movement which captures people's attention. People are just fascinated with, um, with how, how does that work? Like, there, you can't escape that. Uh, how do you make a hologram? 